Kevin Cole with you. I am live in the performance space for the first time in a year and I think eight months. Super excited to be here. Uh, I believe I hosted the last session before the pandemic and excited to, to host one of the first as we are back doing live performances in our live room here at KXP and super excited to have Leve joining me today. Great to have you here, Leve. You, thank you so much for having me. I'm so honored to be here. It's great having you here. You're here. You're going to be playing Reykjavik Calling tomorrow night at the Nordic Museum. Yes, I am. Um, at 8 p.m. And how about starting out with some music? Absolutely. Um, this is this is like the movies. I wrote this song because I I watch a lot of old romantic films, and I think I have kind of like a twisted perception of love because of that. <laughs> That is Leve, live on KEXP. The song is Like the Movies. It's from the debut EP, Typical of Me, that came out in the spring. And Leve moving over from uh, piano to guitar. All right. Next, so we have a very special song. I got to record it with the Philharmonia Orchestra. And growing up a classical musician, it's truly a dream of mine to record with a symphony. So, it's a song. Let You Break My Heart Again, it's called. Feeling kind of sick tonight All I've had is coffee and leftover pie It's no Thank you. 
care like I do, I should stop. Heaven knows I've tried. One day I will stop falling in love with you. So My pie, pretend that we are more than friends. Then, of course, I'll let you break my heart again. I'm just trying to understand. Songs we've exchanged, midnight calls, sunset views, mm. promise I don't I'll let you break my heart again. Someday, one day, I will stop falling in love with you until. Live, live on KEXP, stripped down acoustic version of Let You Break My Heart Again, as Leve was saying. She recorded that uh, this summer with London's Philharmonia Orchestra. There's a, a great video you can watch of the, uh, the full orchestrated version, as well as uh, you can stream that beautiful song. So this is Street by Street, a, a piano version, which I've actually never done. But it's going to be a little bit sadder, but I wrote this. This is the first song I ever released, and I wrote it because um, I was living in Boston at the time, and the city was kind of being ruined for me by a guy, and I decided I needed to take back my city, so I wrote this song. This view used to bring a smile to my face. Lately, it's done nothing but remind me of the way the way that 
Beautiful. That is Leve live on KEXP. Street Street, the song from Typical Me, the EP that came out in the spring. And Leve taking back the guitar. All right. This is Best Friend, a song that I wrote loosely based on my twin sister, who is my best friend, but also kind of a song of, of the love that I hope for in the future. It's come to my attention that I don't show enough of what I think it's only when I drink I open up. But I promise that I love you, even with that hairdo. I'm sorry I made fun of it. I tease you just a little bit. I'll never tolerate someone for so long. I've never laughed so much. I haven't written a sad song. There's no one else I'd rather fall asleep with and dream with. You're my best friend. Bum 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 b
Stairs, you'll barely catch me in time. We'll argue about what to watch on TV. Finally, pick a movie, then we'll fall asleep. We'll still be a little bit strange. Some things never change. It's funny cause you drive me. Half insane. A universe without you would be thoroughly mundane. There's no one else I'd rather fall in love with, and that is my best friend in the world. You're my best friend. Best friend, that is Leve Live on KEXP. Beautiful set. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. We're all about discovery here at KEXP, and I think uh, you're an artist everybody should know about. Your, your music and your sound is so timeless, and it's really different from anything we're hearing right now. Kind of a mix of jazz and some bossa nova and some cool, easy listening and uh, some slow uh, burn R&B and <laughs> just would in the spirit of discovery would love for listeners to know more about you and more about your background yeah absolutely well I I'm from Iceland I grew up in Iceland and um, grew up in a classical music household my mother's a violinist and her parents are also classical musicians and I started playing piano and cello at a very young age and kind of grew up in that pre-professional orchestra world and um, that was kind of my first step into music and how did you get into kind of vocal jazz then yeah my so my father had a fantastic collection of Billie Holiday Ella Fitzgerald Chet Baker records and he would always play them in the house growing up and I think for me uh, jazz was kind of like I would hear these arrangements of Ella Fitzgerald singing with an orchestra and and it felt kind of like a middle ground between new music and old music that felt really comfortable for me and I loved Ella Fitzgerald's voice it just it sounded a bit like a cello so I I just fell in love with it. Cello was one of your instruments. Yeah. Um, Why do you love cello? I think cello is a very expressive instrument um there, everyone around me was violinist growing up, and it's a very technical instrument. Cello is more about singing. It's very close to the human voice, and I have I've always had a bit of a lower voice, so I think I always resonated with the cello. Um, yeah. When did you start writing music? I started writing music a little bit over two years ago. I I really wanted to find. I'd spent many years trying to find a middle ground between pop music and jazz music and classical music. And I always wanted to write my own music and bring those worlds together. And I think it finally clicked like two years ago and I've been developing it from there. Yeah, the EP at Typical Me is beautiful in that respect because, man, it's so timeless. Um, You could be listening to something from the 40s or 50s, but it's also now, you know, like some of the lyrics. I can't remember... um, the song something new someone new yeah <laughs> i have i have the lyrics instagram and, one, and someone new um yeah that's what i that's what i love about jazz so much and i really want to bring that sound and that nostalgic feeling back i think that's a very timeless thing and um i have fun kind of like mixing new lyrics i i, I want to tell the story of a a 22 year old in 2021 but with like with the sounds of olden times. Yeah, the, the production on Typical Me is so beautiful with sweeping strings and just, uh, I don't know, it, it's such a beautiful bed for your voice. 
Yeah, thank you. Yeah, I, I had so much fun making that EP. It was kind of in the middle of lockdown and it was a lot of sending recordings back and forth, um, which which was actually really magical in the end because I got to include a lot of friends from different countries in the yeah. making of it. Speaking of lockdown, man, during the pandemic, you were really busy. So this spring <laughs> or early summer, you graduated from Berkeley School of Music. Yes. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> you also put out the Typical Me EP in April, I think. Yes, yeah. Then uh, recorded with the uh, London Philharmonia Orchestra that you Indeed. said was amazing. <laughs> Thank you. You've got a new single out with Adam Melcher. Yes, yeah, he's he's wonderful. And man, during the pandemic, you did such an incredible job with social media, connecting and building community. <laughs> Th- thank you. I I had so much fun doing it. It was everything kind of happened on accident. I think I came back home from school during lockdown and and thought, you know, I have all this extra time on my hands, and I'd really love to entertain myself by just recording like. Uh, these originals and and jazz standards and kind of posting them online and seeing if other young people would enjoy it. And I think I was just lucky that people were at home with nothing much better to do on their phones. It was kind of a good situation for me, actually. Well, it's, it's cool. People need connection, right? And what a great tool, especially the way you were sharing, being very open and, and sharing the song's evolutions and getting feedback and... You know, what a great tool as well, as you you mentioned your goal to introduce younger audiences to an older maybe sound or a timeless sound or a sound that people aren't hearing much of now. Absolutely. Well, I think that's a a way of bringing many generations together. Um, But yeah, social media is a really great way to get to that young audience. And I've I've been able to grow this really beautiful community of, of old souls, really. And I love connecting with them and and um, hearing what they think of my music and what they want to hear. It's just I, I feel like the luckiest girl in the world. So as now now as the pandemic is is over and we're over ish whatever, <laughs> um, who knows where we are? But as we're coming out of it and, yeah. <laughs> and doing more live performances, and I know you've got a, a robust uh, tour schedule starting in November. Um, did you learn anything? from your experiences with social and sharing in that way that you maybe will take with you on the road? Absolutely. I think, I think even though of course the audience on social media is so, so, so much bigger, just, um, the way that I, that with social media can connect with the fans and the audience is like, it's very direct feedback. Like I'll post the song and I'll get immediate comments and I'll see exactly what the fans think, which I think is not as direct when you're on tour and on a stage. So I hope I can just kind of like remember that connection and bring that kind of intimate feeling of that direct connection on tour with me, if that makes sense. It totally does. And it's an interesting paradox, right? To it really br- is, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to bring that intimacy of social, but you were very have been very successful at making that kind of connection <laughs> with fans. Thank you. And I assume you'll keep that going as well. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, one thing you were doing as well that ended this summer was uh, the BBC Three um, Happy Harmonies. Yes. <laughs> Was it a radio show or a playlist? Or it was it was so it was a radio show um, that was, it aired on BBC Three, which is their like classical world music channel, and then it was on BBC Sounds, their app, mm-hmm. um, and that was a, that was a really really wonderful experience, and I feel feel very honored to do that. I grew up listening to the BBC, and and that was a good opportunity for me to put together the songs that inspire me from classical jazz and pop music. I got to feature a lot of my friends as well. And um, vocal harmony was kind of the glue that stuck all of that together. And it was really, it just, it it was a really cool experience singing, seeing how all those genres work together in that way, just um, on playlists and, and, yeah, that's what I appreciated about it because there'd be some classical music, there'd be, um, 
choir pieces as well as then maybe Joni Mitchell or right. Billie Eilish, you know? It's yeah, just no, a cool it, was, it was very encouraging to see the feedback on it. I loved when, you know, maybe people would go listen for, for a certain pop song and then they'd hear a choir piece after that and think, oh, this is pretty neat. Maybe I'll go listen to some more classical music. Very cool. Well, it's Leve Live here on KEXP. Really appreciate you stopping by. Well, thank you so much for having me. It's really, really cool to get to do things like this after after months of lockdown. Yeah, it's great. Uh, uh, really appreciate it as well. And playing Reykjavik Calling tomorrow night at the Nordic Museum. Uh, Seattle Lights, you're all welcome. And uh, again, thank you. Best of luck, too. Thank you very much. Uh, great having you here. Huge thanks to the KEXP crew. It's great seeing you all again in person as well. And huge thanks to all the KEXP donors for making this possible. It's Drive Time, KEXP Seattle. Discover new music at listenerpoweredkexp.org.